Hey everybody, we're live on day 18 and I am outside today so this is going to be a little different and I am putting on lemongrass because well that's what keeps the bugs from not biting me outside here in swampy mosquito laden Florida can see I've got blue skies and I can't see much but it looks like my gorgeous bananas back there wavering and today's topic I have been pondering all day the great thing about these topics is it really does get you thinking about things <coughs> still getting over a little bit of the crud that tried to get my chest this week but I'm still taking my oil so feeling good just have a little residue so who is an important figure well I have to admit that um, this was difficult it was hard to choose I have a lot of great role models in my life hi Kristen thanks for joining and I wanted to talk about family first and then I thought about celebrities and then I thought about friends and well I have some great family members that really have just been amazing role models to me my father's father was a doctor but he didn't become a doctor till my dad was a freshman in high school so he raised six kids during the depression and when World War II was over he went back to college and went to medical school and went ahead and got his license and practiced for 20 or 25 more years and did what his passion was, what he had always wanted to do, and that was to be a doctor. My dad himself was a uh, start out a Navy guy and then changed over to the Coast Guard, worked his way up after a few years, and went to Officer's Candidate School, and I think he was about, I think he was about 30 years old when he became an officer and I think he retired with 27 years and then went back for six more. So I think he has like 33 years in the military. He provided a good living and gave us a great life. And I have so many qualities. I could talk about my dad all day. You guys know I'm a daddy's girl. And then there's the women in my family. My grandmother, who um, found herself divorced right after World War II, went to work at the district clerk's office position came open the next cycle and she decided to run for it and she as a woman in the mid 40s won the election and she held that office going through the election every four years for over 40 years and she was known throughout East Texas um, and loved by many and just a a great grandmother. I spent many, many summers with her. She always welcomed me to her home. She always gave me unconditional love. And she um, always gave me her wisdom. And she's still alive and kicking today. And I look forward to seeing her sometime real soon. And then there's my mom. My mom was um, not a stay-at-home mom like most moms of my parents' generation. She worked in a bank and she worked her way up. She eventually became a loan officer and uh, retired from Wells Fargo out in California. Her last big job was that she managed all the money for um, uh, Star Wars and Star Wars 2. Well, it's not 2, but the second one that they made. And got to meet with George Lucas every week. And um, so she had a great career and um, then went on and did some other things in real estate after that. And then ran a bed and breakfast for almost 10 years. and. Now she's taking good care of my dad up in Atlanta. So I have lots of family members that have just passed on great stick to and hard work ethics, and I love them all dearly. But as far as a famous person, I think my favorite, favorite person would have to be Oprah Winfrey. I've always admired Oprah. She, she came from nothing, and she didn't let that hold her back. She worked hard, she learned the skills that she needed, and when she became wealthy and famous, she gave 
to so many people. I love watching her still to these days, um, watching reruns of her. She's just an amazing interviewer, and she puts people at ease and gets them to talk to her and tell her things that most broadcasters or interviewees would not be able to do. She has a, a love and a passion for people and knowledge, and she just she embodies everything that I would love to be. So that's it for today. I'm going to make this one really short because my kid is flying on an airplane right now from Boston, heading home to Orlando. I've been doing all kinds of things all day to get ready for her return. Their birthday is this Friday, so I've had some birthday things to take care of today. And I've got a few more things to tidy up before I head to the airport, but I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, glad to see you here, Mike and Rachel. And I can't see anybody else on the list who's... Oh, Lenny is here. Hi, Lenny from California. Glad that you were able to catch it this afternoon. And so I'm going to say goodbye. Adios. Um, peace out and see you tomorrow.